Hey, yoga kids. Today we're going to learn about geometric shapes. And I've got Bella here with me. Hey, Bella. I have a book that Bella will like called The Color Zoo. But I call it The Shape Zoo because all of the animals are made of shapes and you are going to look around your house for some shapes too. Let's start with a couple breaths, sitting up tall. Breathe in. Doesn't that feel good? Make sure you're breathing in your nose. And breathe out your nose. Stay tall when you breathe in. And stay tall when you breathe out. Open your arms wide. Take another breath. Crisscross apple sauce. Let's get our brain working. Show me your toes. Criss cross apple sauce. Balance on your bottom, chest up. Crisscross apple sauce. Since we are going to the shape zoo, I thought we could start today with our animal song. Come on. Are you ready? Move your head side to side. Shoulders. Body all around. I like to be the animals. They teach me all so much. Right. To fly the skies, to swim the seas. Buzz around like little bees. Cool, cool cats and cool, cool kitties. Roar, meow, stretch and purr. I love to put their warm salt fur. Zebra stripes, flamingo bright. Turtle squaw, seagull sail. Gee, I wish I had a tail. I like to be the animals. They teach me all so much. Those monkey pranks and scary snakes and giant dogs with woolly claws and love to hug and keep you warm. And I like to see the animals, I love to make their moves. Cause me and them, we're the same, different shapes, different names. I love to be the animals. Fingers and toes, shake your whole body. Push your lips, shake it up. I like to be the animals, they teach me oh so much. To fly the skies, to swim the seas, and buzz around like a little bee. Cool, cool cats, and cool, cool kitties. Roar, meow, stretch and purr. I love to put their warm salt fur. Zebra stripes, flamingo bright. Turtle squaw, seagull sail. Gee, I wish I had a tail. I like to be the animals, they teach me all so much. Those monkey pranks, scary snakes, giant dogs, woolly claws, and love to hug and keep you warm. Mm -hmm. I like to be the animals, I love to look at them. Cause me and them, we're the same, in different shapes, with different names. I love to be the animals. Another breath. Very good. Before we read our story, I'm going to do, give you a brain challenge. Can you be six animals at the same time? Let's give it a shot. I'm going to bring my paper here. All right, we're going to start with the elephant. And the elephant stomps. I hear your elephant stomp. The dog wags his tail. Can you wag your tail and stomp your feet? The bird flaps his wing. So we're stomping, we're wagging, and we're flapping. The tiger has a claw. The owl turns its head and the snake kisses. Go, all six animals. Woo, it's 
standing mountain. Oh, I felt that in my brain, did you? All right, are you ready for the story? Again, this is Color Zoo by Lois Ellert. He's one of my favorite authors. The first animal we see is a tiger. And I can read the word tiger at the bottom, and I can see the tiger's little round ears, round face, and some whiskers. Let's start with our cat pose once again for the tiger. A tiger is a big cat. So coming onto your hands and knees, round up into cat pose. And then let's take the balancing tiger. Sticking your leg out like a tail and your opposite arm stretch. Maybe make a claw with your hand. <sighs> Try the other leg and the opposite arm. <sighs> and back to cat pose. Yes. So what shape is that tiger's face? Watch. Circle. Two little circles with your hands. Sit them on your knees. We're going to chant the letter O. Make an O with your mouth. O. Can you make a medium size O with your fingers? O. Can you make a big O with your arms and put it over your head? Let's scoot back a bit. There we go. Oh. If you're with other people in the room, or you can even pretend with me to make a huge O. Oh. O's are A. The next animal is the mouse. You see his cute little nose and his long ears, his whiskers. Take child's pose and pretend we are as quiet as a mouse. I'll go sideways. Put your head down. Take a couple breaths. Quiet as a little mouse. Very good. What shape is that mouse's face? Let's see. A square. You see any squares in your room? Hmm. Looking around, I don't think I see any squares. It is very tricky to make a square with your fingers. I don't know. You want to try? That's the best one I can make. But if my body looks pretty much, let me tuck in my shirt here, looks sort of like a square when I do the table pose. I'm not cat, I'm not cow. My back is straight like a square. All right. The next animal is a fox. I think he's a red fox, there's the word. And the fox is made with many, many triangles. Do you see the triangles? We have one for his face, two, three for ears, and a little one down there at the bottom for his nose. Four triangles. Let's do dog pose with a tail, a big bushy fox tail first. You'll notice when you do dog pose, you make a triangle. Stick one leg up like a big fluffy fox tail as high as you can stretch. Try the other leg. Get it up even higher. Take a big breath. Then come back down into your dog, making a nice big triangle. Let's try triangle pose. Jump your feet up. I see a triangle here. Turn your feet. Make a triangle with your arm, too. Let's take three breaths for our triangle size. One. Two, 
Three. Up and over. Don't forget to turn your feet. Three. Two. One. Hop it up and jump that triangle together. Not too hard to make a triangle with your hands. Touch your thumbs and your fingers. Very nice. I could make triangles with my arms too. Like that. Next page is very nice. It shows all our shapes. We have the square, the triangle, and the circle. And these little green circles are the eyes of the animal. Ready? Here's the fox, the mouse, and the tiger. Let's look at the next group of animals. This is a tricky one. It is the ox. Ox is a very large um, animal like a bull or a cow. And we are going to do the cow face pose. That's a tricky pose too. From table, lift up one leg and cross your knees. Open your feet up and have a seat. These are supposed to be the ears of the cow. Take one arm high in the sky and pat yourself on the back. Good job for trying some yoga. Turn your thumb down and reach up. See if you can grab your fingers. Let me show you mine. If you can't grab your fingers, grab your shirt. That is a big, big stretch. Let's pretend we are an ox. <clears throat> can you come forward? <clears throat> Ooh, I feel a good stretch in my hip. Put your hands on your knee and slide down your shin. Watch me, this is a fun turnaround. Feet are not moving and I'm walking around and hey, I came back on the other side. You wanna try? If you got mixed up and it didn't work, come back to your table and just put the other leg in front. That's easier. Have a seat. Now we have to do the other arm. Stretch up high, pat yourself on the back. Thumb down and up. Oh, this one's much tighter for me. I can barely touch my fingers. <sighs> That's an ox. Let's check out the ox's shape. His face is shaped like a rectangle. And do you know what I see that's a rectangle? My yoga mat is a very long rectangle, longer than this rectangle. If we do the reverse table, we make a very good rectangle. Put your feet in the front and your hands in the back. Lift up flat and straight. Do you see my rectangle? Good job. I have a way, a fun way of making a rectangle with my fingers too. Show me the front of one hand and the back of the other hand and then turn them and make a rectangle. Would you like me to show you that again? One palm, one back, bring finger to thumb and thumb to finger. Rectangle, hey Bella, there's my rectangle. The next animal, is a monkey. Come onto your feet, knuckles down. Lift your bottom up, up, up. Ooh, 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 ooh. Maybe you want to walk around like a monkey. Ooh, ooh, stand up, take a Tarzan. Feel your heart rate. Let's look at that monkey again. There he is. Isn't he funny? The monkey's face has a shape called an oval. And an oval is a circle that is much longer. Can you make 
your circle with your hands again and then squish it into an oval. Make an oval with your mouth. Oval. Try it again. Oval. It's kind of hard to make an oval with your body, but I feel like if I curl up, I can be a little bit like an oval. Would you like to try? Can you tuck your head in? Maybe you want to do a little rock and rolling. That's fun. All right, Bagheera. I bet you know this one, the deer. And with that little red circle, I think that deer looks a bit like Rudolph. Put both feet on one side of your body. Put your hand on the other side of your body like a quiet deer in the woods. Turn and look all around. Put your feet on the other side. Cross your hand over your legs. Quiet like a deer. I bet you know the shape the deer's face was. It's a heart. Can you make a heart with your fingers? Make your circle. Push your thumbs down, push your fingers down. I can put my heart on my heart and think about love. Try it again, make a circle, thumbs down, fingers down. I can make a bigger heart with my elbows too, watch this one. Elbows touch, fingers touch, fingers go down. I think this heart looks like two swans kissing. Here's our shape page. We have our rectangle, our oval, and the heart, and the blue eyeballs for the deer, the monkey, and the ox. There is one more set of animals. Let me see here. First one is a lion. Boy, I have to use my imagination to see that lion. Do you see him? I guess this is his mane of yellow fur. The lion. Sit on your feet. You should do the lion's breath. Show me your lion claws. Inhale. One more. Feels so good on my face. What shape is that lion? A diamond. And sometimes in uh, take my glasses off. Sometimes in in mathematics, people call the diamond a rhombus. Yeah, it's the same same shape, diamond or rhombus. You make a diamond with your legs and a diamond with your hands. And put your, your hand diamond up on your head. Let's sing Twinkle, Twinkle together. Ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Take another breath, feel that good stretch. And sit on up. Child once showed me the tiniest diamond in the world. Bring your pincher fingers together and touch them. Do you see a little teeny tiny diamond in there? Can you make one yourself? Isn't that silly? Next animal is the goat. I like the goat. Look at that. He's got horns, ears, 
and a beard. The goat's shape is a tricky one. It is the octagon. Doesn't that look like a stop sign? Yeah, the octagon and the goat. Goats like to bump their head together. They think that's fun. Could you come into your table and imagine you were a head-butting goat? Nay, 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 nay. People don't like bumping their heads though, that hurts. An octagon has eight sides. Can you count them with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like an octopus has eight legs. We're gonna do take eight. We're gonna breathe in for four and breathe out for four because four plus four is eight. Are you ready? Sitting tall, inhale. Exhale. Try it again. Last time. Very good. Our last animal of all is the snake. Come down on your yoga mat. Lift your chest. I'm going to slither my snake sideways so you can see the side of my snake. That was a lot of S words. The silly snake. Slither sideways. Let's look at the shape of the snake. It is a hexagon. And a hexagon has six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Did you know that three and three is six? Let's try our breath again. Ready? Inhale. Did you know that two and four is six? Do you think we can inhale for two and exhale for four? Let's try it. Ready? When we breathe out slowly, it makes us feel so calm and happy. Let's look at our shapes. We have the diamond or rhombus, the hexagon, and the octagon. And look here, we got two blue circles and a green triangle. Snake, goat, lion. Hope today you take time to look around your house and see shapes. They're everywhere. If you look back at the, uh, the grate for my heating, I think that looks like, I think that's a rectangle, almost a circle, but not quite. There are so many shapes everywhere. I'd like you to lay down now and take a rest. Stretch yourself out on your rectangle, rectangular yoga mat. Lay on your back. Turn your hands, palms up, and look at the ceiling with your face. Breathe into your nose. Breathe out of your nose. Breathe into your belly. Breathe out of your belly. Now I'd like you to imagine a bright red square.
an orange rectangle. A yellow circle. A green triangle. A blue diamond or rhombus. A purple hexagon. and a white octagon. Imagine a rainbow of color going up and down your body as you breathe. Whenever you are ready, roll over onto your side. Take a breath. Don't rush. And push up tall. Bring your hands together. Namaste. Will you chant Om with me one more time, making your circles, putting them on your knees? Oh. See you soon. Have a beautiful day.